refuses to be a victim. She says when she realized someone had broken into her home, she took action. An intruder gave the Middletown grandma the awakening of her life. And in turn, the intruder got the scare of her life. Shots fired at her. Nine on your side reporter Amy Waters sat down with the grandmother. Amy, she says she got her permit to carry a gun just a few months ago. Well, Clyde, that's what I learned tonight. You could say this was a run-in with 64-year-old Mabel Fletcher, who was ready to take on an intruder. Now, police say the perpetrator, 21-year-old Paige Stacy, is spending the night here at the Middletown City Jail. Benji the Bichon Freeze was the first to realize an unwelcome guest was inside his home in the 900 block of Kensington Street. He was my husband's dog. And since he passed away, he has been a protector for me. Benji sleeps with 64 year old Mabel Fletcher every night. Around four Wednesday morning, his bark woke her up to the unexpected. And I thought, uh oh, and then I've seen a shadow. She says that shadow was 21 year old Paige Stacy. Fletcher says she grabbed her handgun from her nightstand and jumped out of bed to find Stacy in the spare bedroom. And I told her to stop. She wouldn't stop. I shot. The bullet never hit Stacy. She fell down between the bed and the chest. Said, "Oh, you killed me! You shot me!" I said, "No. If you don't get up from there, I'm going to." Fletcher says the intruder jumped up and threw an ironing board at her. Fletcher fired two more shots. The bullets never hit her. One went through the wall, and another went through a shed next door. Fletcher says Stacy escaped through the spare bedroom window that she busted through when she broke in. The suspect didn't make it very far. A woman who lives here at Arlington Arms came outside to find quite the surprise. I got up to leave for work this morning. It was like 5:40, something like that. And I didn't even pay any attention getting in. And when I got in, there was uh, a girl in the passenger seat, and she was slumped over. It was Paige Stacy. Robinson called police, and Stacy was arrested. Fletcher just got her gun permit a little over two months ago, but she never thought she'd have to use it. And I would advise any woman that's by herself, any, anybody, widows, anybody that don't own a gun to get a gun, have protection. And Fletcher's home wasn't the first home that Stacy tried to get into. Police say that she actually went into a neighbor's home first. Now, police found several drugs, several syringes, and a needle on her, and that she was very uh, combative, I would say, and very disoriented during the time of the arrest. Now, she's charged with aggravated burglary and drug offenses and is in jail without bond. Amy Wattis, Nine on Your Side, live from Middletown. Thank you, Amy. A Senate